All right, so you guys really enjoyed the last time I made a video like this where I went step by step and told you guys what I'm thinking and what I'm doing when I'm rushing and playing the game. So today we're back with another one. This time we're going to play completely different maps, close range maps, mid range maps, the works, giving you guys the play by play. By now we can call the juggernaut. Now it's 1v5. This is a very bad situation on a map like this. If this was a big map, I wouldn't really worry about it. But we're going to we're going to see them all hit us right now all at once. We, we want to have that trigger discipline sometimes. We got to kill this guy. He's in our way. Do we get it? We're going to keep peeking this. We heard a door break. We got him. We're getting shot. Wow. We're going to check the spawn because where else could they be? Ain't no. What the damn, bro? Damn, damn, that's crazy. crazy. Yo, this is what you do for a living, bro. So that's crazy. Like it's just playing the bomb and just play the boss. Turn, turn off hacks. There it is in the chat me. right there. Yo, who do you think was hacking? So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Before we get into the video, I do want to let you know that these were captured live on stream at kick.com slash thunder. So if you want to come by, say what's up, chat live with me, watch me get some cool gameplays, make people angry, live reactions, come by kick.com slash thunder. Link in the description down below. But let's get right into the video. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting off the first game with the cast off 762 on shoot house. Now, this isn't exactly the most... Uh, favorable gun for rushers but it works so we pushed here we didn't get a hit marker we don't know one's coming here so we're gonna check mid we see one teammate to the kill that's fine we're gonna keep peeking this we heard a door break we got him we're getting shot wow reflexes right there we're gonna check the spawn because no damn, damn that's so crazy quick. oh yeah no yeah, one nice so too. Mm. Guy, that, yo, Nah, yeah, he said that's John Wick. So when we push this right side, usually I nade over the top or through the uh, the little opening to see if I can get a hit marker. If I get one, then I know someone's there. But in this case, we're going to jump on the car, try to get a peek. If we see one running, and we do. I'll throw the nade anyways. Maybe we can get a hit on him. Nothing. So now we have to rely on gun skill, but we get a shot. I got him. missing my shot. Oh! A little bit of movement comes a long way. Now that that's just years of playing the game. But we knew he was here. But we're gonna check left. He's not there anymore. Check right. He's not there. He might have pushed back. He did. Oh, Killed him. Yeah, Quality you check. What happened there? I, you you I seen that shit. She doesn't want to talk about it. That was a crazy turn on in junkyard. Like I should have died, but the movement helped us out. So over on this part of the map, I always, you guys know, I always let to rush B, nade right over the crate. Usually you get a kill or it lets you know if someone's coming if there's a hit marker. No hit marker because there's a bad nade, but we know they're up here because we heard the door break. Oh my lord. So now we see on the radar there's someone here. We check the doors, the windows. That's John Wick. He said that's John Wick. We saw a sniper. Clean up the kill. Easy round. On a map like this, it takes a lot, a lot of movement to get going. I don't want to talk about it. We won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. Listen, I haven't played a shitty game like this in that long. Like, it's been too long since I played a shitty game. I'm so irritated. You're like, it's just getting like... Really good round. We're going to try the same thing. We're going to try to nade over B. So it's important that you launch this nade out because it will let you know if someone's pushing you or not. If you don't get a hit marker and it went over the nade, then you know they're back in their spawn. Now, I'm messing up the nades this round. We see three up in top office and peek him again. No! <laughs> we got the juggernaut recon. We saw him in the window. So now we're going to do, we're going to hug the wall. Now we're going to move in the spawn, check the corners, check the corners. Teammates here. So we know we're safe. Radar, he's top stair. Shoot top stair. Teammates are the kill, but we had the right idea. Good try, yo, good try. Dude, I don't, I don't know what the fuck is happening, bro. I'm getting so yo, yo, that's like Cartman from I would South just Park. camp and spawn yeah, next round. No, yo, uh, I, like I would do that. I would do that. Trust me. I got a juggernaut. If y'all want to cover me while I uh, call it in. I need all the help in this map. So for this round, we're going to call the juggernaut in. Now, it's very suspicious on uh, shootouts to call it in because of how small it is. Any small map with the jug. And later in this video, you're going to see me call juggernaut on Da's house. And it went down to the wire. I had all five enemies in the spawn with me and we managed to get it. But anyways, watch this. Call the juggernaut. Easy W. I mean, you could play this. You're, you could give your grandmother a controller on this map with the juggernaut and she'll win the round. She could, she could never pick the control up in her damn life and she'll kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going this way. I'm going this way. 
This is just... It's easy. It's... It's... It's basically just trolling them at one point. So this guy right here, we're looking at the radar. He's running over to B. Most likely he's going to plant on the B bomb. But, uh... No, looks like he isn't. So, what'd he do? He's running towards my teammate. Teammates are going to kill him. I want to troll him for a second. Let him get up and end it. Oh, shit. I told you this thing is spawn. There's only been one instance ever that I've had the juggernaut and I've lost the game. Or the round. Never, since that? then, never. I what? win it every time with the juggernaut. It's Yo, really just oh, an easy shit. W. That, that was Halo. In this instance, we're gonna go the, the junkyard route towards A. So we're gonna toss a nade over. We're gonna run right over to A, try to get a kill or two, and end this game. This is gonna be a nice quick 6 0. So we toss a nade here. If we get a hit marker, then we know someone's there. And we do. There he was, sniping. But got pushed his shanty, and I unfortunately died. That's just that just happens. So Ooh. teammate, we're able to clean it up. We got the W. Uh, simple as that. Now this is a very hard map to use the cast off 762 of all weapons. That's a real mid-range map type oh, weapon. Man. But we did good on shootouts anyway. Yeah, what so. The fuck? And what the fuck was that Iron Man thing? That was the Juggernaut yeah, Recon. Iron Man. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah. All right. So now we got sub base. This is a good map to showcase uh, like inside the mind type gameplay. Let you know exactly what my moves are. Uh, we're gonna be using the SVA seven. What is this? The SVA hey, forty five. I forgot the name of it exactly. But I've actually never used this gun on the channel before, and I'm I thinking mean, about making a dedicated like video on it. So if there's something you want to see, let me know. But this is kind of a class that I'm toying around with. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. But I really enjoy it. Anyways, we're gonna toss a nade over. If we get a hit marker, then you know someone's trying to come here, but we don't. So. I'm gonna take my top route. We're gonna come over here, peek over the railing, and, that, and then we see someone. We know there's some action over here. We heard him. We're gonna peek it. Teammates are in. They're clearing the building out. Cool. Now we're gonna re re restructure our route. We're gonna go check mid. I saw one. Oh, still in spawn. He's dead. One spawn. Radar shows the one under here. Vegito's able to clean it up. I check the spawn on one's ear. I'll make my way over to a building now i'm gonna choose a wide route and i'm gonna peek as soon as i peek this i see there's no snap here i'm gonna look left real quick make sure no one is here i thought i saw one but i didn't so let's, oh what do we got someone on top of the crane now he's a sniper so it's dangerous to push we end up getting the kill now what i'm gonna do is the same thing i'm gonna use the crane get on top of the building now here i want to get a wide view of the map there he is high ground Taking the high ground is super important. You don't want to be in a position where there's a lot of high ground available and you're on the low ground. You most likely will die. Think about it. When you're playing this map, how many times have you died from someone who's on top of the rooftops? It happens quite often. Why? Because this map is very sideline heavy and the, and, the, and the people who are on the rooftops usually dominate the gunfights. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to push into A building. A building. So I'm thinking there'll be some, uh, some presence in A because last round no one really went tunnel. So I'm going to dive right through. I see some feet. Through the, through the door, I peek it. Now, see, the door is open, and that wasn't open before. There he was. He killed me. I didn't have enough time to react. I actually uh, reloaded, and that, that got me killed. So, we didn't have time to cancel it and kill him. Now, we're going to try a little bit of a different approach this time, now that we have the bomb. But because I'm not going to have the bomb, I'm going to take a, a slightly different style. I'm going to go top A, try to clear it out for my teammates. And once that's clear, I'm going to push over to B and try to get as many kills. So, I'm going to go up here. I'm gonna First thing I'm going to do is look at the rooftops. Boom, there's one right there. Kill him. I jump. While I'm doing this, I'm looking around. I see two dead bodies. So I know A is clear. Only place it could be is towards B or running really wide flanks on either side. And I'm not going to worry about the flanks just yet. Knifed him. I didn't even see him, honestly. That was just pure reflex at that point. But now we're taking another rooftop approach. We're going to be looking around. Teammates are on rooftops. I'm on a rooftop. I'll take this sniper over here. Honestly, at this point, we're just going to play defense and try to find the kill. Now, my eyes are darting in every different direction. I think I'm, I'm going to buy, like, an eye tracker one day and just to kind of uh, give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at. I saw a few comments about it. It would be a pretty good idea. But um, looking, looking. I don't see anybody in these windows. Now, we could get killed here, but I'm not worried about it because we have four people alive. Teammate just died here. Sniped him. He's done. Boom. That was a, a role I... The role I played in that round, I didn't take the bomb, so I wasn't responsible responsible for planting the bomb. I left that to my teammates. So then in my, go, my, my goal, my job, was to get as many kills as possible and pave the way for them to have a safe plant, which we did really well. We have eight kills and... Uh, 
Good picks, Wait, indeed. Very good picks to that, that round. So, same deal. Vegeta got the bomb. I'm going to follow follow her to A bomb. Make sure I'm she's safe. Up there again. But Watch this time, we're going to take a different one. Because we don't want him to think we're going the same place twice. We're going to run wide. We check for snipers. Nobody. So, we know we're kind of safe. Picked up a kill for them. Now, I'm going I'm to continue my route. We're going we're gonna to continue our route. Our goal right now is to get on top of this rooftop. Now, if we can get on their rooftop... And they don't even know I'm here. Right Free kills. This is their their turf, technically. Now I'm in their turf. Now they're all over the place. They have people on their side. They have people over on. We have people everywhere. We pull them out down. Now there's someone in this building because I just shot my teammate. I'm not gonna push yet Careful. until my teammate takes the fight. I'll take it with him. So now he's pushing into the room. I push with him. I'll play his trade. Didn't even need it. He got the kill. Teammates are playing the bomb down. Now I'm just gonna circle around the map. Checking corners, checking rooftops, making making sure we're all good. There's only two people alive. Teammate killed one. Round over, just like that. Super, it's kind of nice sometimes not being like um, the person who holds the bomb because you don't have to worry about ditching it in the back of the spawn. If you die, you can just go around and slay and get in the kills. So just because you don't have the bomb, the, you know, it doesn't mean that you're you you're not you're playing a vital role in the uh, on the team. You could always be the guy who just slays and gets the kills. And sometimes if you have the bomb, you kind of got to know what role you're playing. Don't take the bomb to the enemy team and drop it and die. I know there's people who do that all the time. It's very frustrating. But we got UAV. Same deal. I'm a nade here. If I get a hit marker, which I do, I'm going to peek it. Kill them. We're going to peek through this door. One's in the spawn. We're going to kill this guy in spawn. Sitting back here. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll wide. I'm going to hit him in this... Uh, Little angle right here. Boom. Nice kill. We see one down there. Reload. And he's sniping. So we got to be careful here. Not a good peek, but we're going to try to take the gunfight. He beat us. He beat us in that gunfight. But we're going to watch Vegeta now. So Vegeta knows what she's doing. And in her perspective, she's holding the bomb down. She's playing defense. What I suggested for her to do, because right now she she took the low ground, and I told her that's not a good idea. Teammate just died on low ground. Throw the nade, but try to find some sort of high ground. She um she quickly takes a peek. Now I say, yo, take the high ground because you don't want to be in a position where this guy goes on one of the rooftops and you're dead. So she looks over here, climbs this little thing. Her movement is, is a little funny at times, but she takes a high ground and boom, looked where he was. He was on the rooftop. If she was still on the floor, on the ground level, she most likely would have lost that gunfight. But then boom, she gets nice. the kill because she took the high ground. Now, you want to get to the high ground as fast as possible, but you don't want to do it in a way where you end up dying, you know? Like, to watch your surroundings. If it takes you a couple seconds to get there, cool. But try to get there and, and, uh, and you'll be much safer than if you were on the bomb level. So, all right. Good job, Vegeta. Same deal. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to run to the uh, tunnel, nade it, but we're not going to go into the tunnel this time. We, we already did that last round. We don't want to burn that. We're going to nade it, and we're going to push A. Now we're going to look. We see doors open. Yeah, Someone's man. here. Teammate went, see, teammate, teammate went through the left side, and he didn't die, so I knew he was coming through the right side. And there he was. He was on the right side. We killed him. Now, One push tunnel got a kill. Away. Peek it, watch the corners. I'm gonna take this top of this root, top of this crate to see if there's anyone in the spawn, which there wasn't. Teammates ended up winning the round just like that. Now these people were gonna think we're hacking. They're gonna they're gonna put in chat here soon. <laughs> Yo, turn off your hacks. It no one's hacking on our team. We're just dominating this team. A full team of 450s and we're just dominating this lobby because we're playing some really good Call of Duty and we're, we're playing as a, as a team and we don't really, really, really need no communication. It really helps that I'm able to slay everyone while they're able to play in the bomb and just play defense. Turn off hacks. There it is in the chat right there. So I'm going to push A. No uh, I'm gonna push the dude. wide uh, wide route again. We're gonna check for snipers here. The only thing you gotta worry about here is snipers because oh, they will kill you if you're not careful. About. No one in mid. We're gonna keep taking that push. Radar tells me they are on the rooftop. So I'm gonna try to make my way over to the rooftop as quick as possible without getting killed. No one is here. Most likely B. Yep, there he is in B. Came down, now he ran. Now here, I don't see him here. I'm gonna. I'm thinking he's gonna run this way. But on the other side, he actually outplays me. He comes back around, he stuns, comes back around, and boom. I assumed he was going to keep running, but he actually double backed on me and ended up getting me killed. But Vegeta cleans up the kill nice and easy, and uh, we 6-1 them just like that. Full team of 450s, and we did a great job. And this girl's calling every single one of us hackers, but y'all know we're not hacking. 
By the way, this boss B class that I made, a lot of you in my chat told me you've made this class setup and you guys are absolutely loving it. It's a really good class setup. I did it on my uh, video on the Raw and Inferno camo. It'll be in the description down below, the uh, class setup for it. So, good game though. Before we show you the last small map, I do want to show you another media map, and that is Mercado Los Almos. Now, for this one, we're going to be using the cost off 762. If we can select it, awesome. And uh, yeah, this is this gun is good for this map because it's not close range. Last time we used this gun, it was on shoot house. Very small map for a weapon like this, but we should be okay. We're going to do our usual take the bomb, push left into top of uh, greenhouse. Top greenhouse is very good for a weapon like this. And, uh, and it lets you see anyone that's coming into your spawn. So now look here, I don't see anybody. So we know they're either in their spawn, they haven't spawned yet, or they're pushing B or they're in mid. So we check mid, no one's there. Check spawn. We got one pushed up a little bit. Now, my guess is they're at B. They just killed a teammate too. So, peek it, peek it. Glass is broken, so someone went through that window. We're gonna go through here. Look at him right there. Easy kill, just like that. Got a kill down here. Now we know there's a prox mine, go down. Now we know they pushed out. They're most likely near our spawn, and there they are, in our spawn. He just came out. Riot Shielder, give him a little nade. He is dead. Nothing he can do there. That was a good round though. Four kills, and we were able to predict them every single step of the way. Uh, they, they left themselves wide open, left a lot of clues for us to pick up, and that's exactly what you're looking for in situations like that. Like the broken glass, the fact that they killed a teammate in that area, um, and us being in their spawn and, and pushing up towards mid and them not being there, let us know they're in our spawn. That's where the rash shield guy came from. Anyway, same deal though. We're gonna go green again. Green is like the best route to push. Top A again. They were going this, uh, this route twice because they didn't come here the first time. We killed two. Now, if they were to come here the first time, I probably would have went bottom to change it up a little bit. But because no one ever expected me there in the first first round, we were, we were able to go there safely. Now, we're checking the corners. No one's here. Looks like the rest of the team went B. Teamers are clearing clearing it out. I'm going to peek left. Window is broken, but I'm going to assume he's dead. We heard some action here in mid near the gate. We peeked the gate. We don't see anyone yet. Teammates cleared it up. So now where could he be? He's not here. He's most likely here by RV. I'm a Mount RV. You don't see him. He killed teammate on a bomb. He's in a tunnel. Now we're going to try to get behind him. We're going to go through cut here. I'm going to go through One the cut. Remaining. Kill teammate. Uh, near, the, near the little like the, the market in the middle, the, the, the main road. We're going to peek. We don't see anything. We got to get the bomb, though. We're going to pop the UAV because UAV we need to get the bomb, plant the bomb, and this guy is wearing ghosts. So we're kind of at a disadvantage here. We got to check them corners. We saw him at dark. We're not going to shoot yet. He peeked it. He ran. We missed. Now, I have two options. Push him or, 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 or uh, pull away. I'm going to pull away because we are attacking. I'm going to put the bomb down. And now my eyes are on tunnel and to my left. Tunnel, left. Tunnel, left. We don't see anything. I'm going to push back. Check here. He might try to run the flank. He does not. I'm going to take this top position. Look at tunnel. Look at the alley. Tunnel, alley. Tunnel, hedge, tunnel. He defused it. I wasn't able to catch him, unfortunately. Now, I did everything right, except I wasn't able to hear him. Now, I thought that I was able to hear the bomb defusing, but I guess not. Uh, sometimes that'll happen too, but... He got the one up on us. Everything else, though, we played right. Uh, I didn't expect him to push the bomb that quickly. So that was good on him. That's a good way to counter was just to get on the bomb right away. But we're going to do the bottom green push. Expect someone here. Knife him. No one here. Peek it. Three of them. Three of them, including a riot shield. Throwing a nade. We got him. He's done. Got him. Okay, now we expect one more. There he is. Because remember, we saw him sniping as soon as we peeked the door. Now, I'm doing a little bit of a risky push here. If we're able to pull it off, we would be able to kill him, but we were not able to pull it off here. Now, you could take that route. You have five seconds to make a move there, and uh, the guy was shooting me from top green, so we we just missed it. Now, if we were able to mantle that, we could have killed the sniper and possibly killed the guy top green. Teammates aren't able to clean it up, and I believe we end up losing this round over here. Scrub Daddy doesn't have the, uh, the facilities to get the W here. He ends up getting stabbed by the sword, so... Uh, back to back rounds, uh, getting outplayed uh, with the bomb and then just getting unlucky with the out of bounds rule. And we, we kind of got pinched there, but that's okay. We are going to pull the, pull the same route. We have seven kills. 
Uh, we're gonna push the same route. We have seven kills so far, doing real good. We're losing one, two, but I'm not really worried about it. Same route, and I'm gonna expect this time for someone to push into bottom green with me because no one was there the first time. Someone's definitely gonna try this time, so we're gonna be prepared for the gunfire right here. Nope, they flashed it. We saw Riot Shielder and one other person, so there's two people there. So I'm gonna go from the top. Teammates are dying, so we gotta expect to push here, a pinch here soon. We gotta get business done quickly. Toss to nade. We got a hit marker. There's someone else here. There he was. And Riot Shielder is beating me. I'm gonna run. Now, how did I know there was someone else there, not the Riot Shielder? Now, in this, in that instant, when he turned his Riot Shield towards the nade, you can't take damage from that. So I assume there's someone hiding in that statue corner, very common corner, by the way, because the Riot Shielder couldn't be the one that I hit marked. It had to be someone else. He was faced directly towards the nade. He could have taken damage. So I was like, okay, most likely there's someone on that statue and there he was and we killed him. Now that is an instance there where a lot of people would have just got killed because they thought the, the grenade would have been for the rush shooter, but we weren't able to stick him. And he, he 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 did a good job blocking the damage. Now here, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go top uh, warehouse. Check it. Me and Brain are running through. We don't see anybody. So what, 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 what do we think he's going to be doing? We're going to check mid. We don't see anything. I'm going to check right. Bomb is clear. I just saw him run bottom green. I'm going to put a camera up on the bomb. So with the camera, you're able to uh, ditch your position and not really worry about it, worry about it temporarily. This will let me know if he makes a push on a bomb. Once he does, we'll have a position on him and we'll be able to kill him. So we're going to slow down. We're not going to do anything too rash because we want to at least even up the score. He has to plant. There he is going for the plan. Now he's wide ping. Brain can kill him. I can kill him. Easy right there. He had nowhere to go. When he started moving, the, the red dot would have moved with him as well. And we basically have walls on the guy. There's no way he's going to be able to kill us. So nice little kill right there. Good job. Good kill. Good round. Sometimes it pays to just slow down a little bit uh, just so you don't make a mistake. Now, for example, if we were to push that bomb without waiting for him to make a move, he might have been able to kill us. And then he just would have uh, won the round most likely. You never know. But that was a smart way to play. But in this instance, we're going to go uh, We're gonna go uh, top green again. We're going to peek the window. We see any action. We see one person push. Got the kill. No one else. We heard a door peek. We're going to make sure it was teammate. It was teammate peeked the door. We know we're clear here. Tunnel's clear. Now we have no presence in back spawn. So I'm going to rotate back spawn. Take a look at the, at the uh, little hallway down there by the RV. But he's pushing to our spawn. See? They made their way into our spawn. And just having one player holding this area could prevent that. But because we completely left it open, they made their push. And they try to, they try to set up shop in our area. So right here, 3v3, we have the bomb now. We have one teammate on A, one teammate on B. We kind of have the ability to play, which is what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and get the bomb down. I want now what I want to do is push the enemies to me. I want them to come to me. I don't want um, to go around fishing for them. I'm going to put the camera up on the bomb. I want to check the flank. Boom, we see a shielder. Nade. Oh, we saw a second one. We get them both. Now, you see, no one was holding that. We went check the flank, two people. If I would not check that, they would have came behind us and killed us. I check again, the third one was there. We wiped him just like that. Great round, now we're in the lead and we're gonna win this game. This is a game that we're, we're committed to winning. We're gonna play some good old fashioned Call of Duty, not make as many, much mistakes. We made some mistakes the first two or three rounds, but we've learned from that. Now we're kind of adjusting our play style to these people. We're gonna do the same thing. Now I know Merc uh, it's not always good to go the same route, but Mercado is one of those those maps where you really want to hit green. And I love going top green. Peek it again. Nothing, nothing. We heard a door break, most likely teammates, but I'm just preparing myself in case. Peek in tunnel. Now, my guess is they went B. There's two teammates watching B. They might be in trouble, but I'm going to go ahead and get the bomb down. It's important that we just get this bomb, the bomb counter started. Use the camera to prop it up. It will let me know if anyone pushes towards the bomb. And what I'm going to do, change the angle, make sure everything's good, and hold this down. I'm going to hold this down for my dear life. We want the win here. Peeking it. Alley's good. Tunnel looks good so far. Camera has sat on the bomb. Teammates are pinging them. Awesome. Everyone's doing their job. Everyone... The machine is turning. The cog is turning. Everyone is doing their part. Even the randoms are, which we love to see. So it's just me and Brain right now. Brain is watching the alley. I'm watching the alley. 
Looking towards mid. Don't matter. We got the W. 13 kills so far. Doing great. Able to uh, really shut it down on offense. Now we'll be switching to defense. And that's when things can get a little tricky on Mercado. Green, the, the greenhouse on defense can be kind of hard to break into because it's such a power position. And he who can hold greenhouse though, usually wins the game. This is the most important part of Mercado is that greenhouse. You hold that house, you got the W. But we're going to try something a little bit different here. We're going to go B. Cause I'm thinking they're gonna they're gonna assume we're gonna go A, so they might go a B route. So I'm gonna take it with them. But unfortunately, I read wrong. There's only one person that went to B. You put a prox mine down. I'm gonna trigger the prox mine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Get that kill. Now here is the issue. We got the jug recon, but we got four people on A. They they decide to put the bomb down and they decide to hold it hold it like good defense. We could be in trouble. So I'm gonna peek it right now. Check the bomb. We got a prox mine on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera up. I'm not even gonna worry about taking that gunfight. I'd rather give myself the time and resources to track him when I need to. Boom, one died. Peeking again. Boom, I got him pinged. So instead of, instead of trying, to be in, trying to be a little cheeky here, trying to get the kill, but instead of pushing that gunfight, being crazy with it, I decided to just give myself an extra second or two to, to get to get a camera up there that could help us in the long run. And look, we're going to take over this, this round right now. We mail him. We actually end up getting an execution. Absolutely dirty work right over there. And boom, we didn't lose a single person. Three. Well, we lost one person uh, once that assault started. Three, three v four. We killed them all. So. I don't want to talk about the other dude. Yo, bro. I don't disrespect my teammate, bro. They ain't gonna let that shit slide. 15 kills. We're doing great, though. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We got one more round, and we have the Juggernaut Recon on our side. Now, are we going to use the Juggernaut Recon? You best believe we're going to use the Juggernaut Recon. Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't we? Now, we wait a couple seconds. Hopefully, every teammate dies. Now, I say that because it's really fun to use a Jug Recon when you're the last one alive. Because then you could just terrorize the enemy team. <laughs> they, have, they have no idea what to do when they see a Jug right at them. But teammates are getting kills, and that's okay as well. I'll let them get their kills, and we'll clean up anyone else who's alive. Now... I gotta make sure no one's pushing us. No one does. We're good. We're in the recon. We won. We won. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push towards mid, but I'm gonna give them some support on A and B. Uh, teammates on A, people fight MB. I'll toss them a little smoke. I'll check A. Teammates coming from A. Everything's good. We see on the radar they are in garage, stuck. Nothing they could do. Here comes the big boy right here. Nothing they could do. Nothing they could do indeed. One more person alive. We're on a merciless. Things are looking good. He's behind us. Rise Shielder. Clean it up just like that. Absolute dominant performance, ladies and gentlemen. We died once. 18 and 1. We got one ninja diffuse on us. Uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a bad bad round or two, but we were able to clean our act up and get the W. So, GG's. GG's indeed. Yeah, I'm hungry, mom. Juggernaut Recon really puts in that work. I can't lie. 18 and 1. Yep, one food. Very good. Okay, for this game, we're gonna play some DOS House, and I gotta, I gotta be honest with you guys. DOS House is, uh, it's a I'm shit just, show. Uh, I, really can't, <laughs> I can't really explain it any, any way else. It's insane. But we'll be using the SVA exactly once again on uh, on DOS House. So we're gonna go take a right push here. You gotta be on your toes. You, you expect the gunfight. Any corner you peek, gunfight. Gunfight right here. Gunfight right here. And I died, but. Teammates are able to clear it up real quick here, and yeah. round's done. Yeah. On DOS That's House, right. you have to be I on your A game instantly. Any corner you peek, there's going to be a possibility oh. that an, an enemy is there, even if it's your spawn. If you if you spawn uh, uh, late, though, for example, you come back, you're choosing your weapon. 10 seconds, right? Just 10 seconds. There could be someone as soon as you peek that door tier right, right there. So we're going to do like the same that? thing, though. We're going to peek it. Uh, we're going to check mid, though, real quick, because they seem like to run mid. No one is there, so we're going to go right through mid. Got a kill. Uh, on spawn. Yeah, I mean this. Okay. Good, do it again, do it again. This do map again, is just, yo, team. run or be killed. <laughs> just keep running, keep shooting, and they really did. I would, I would honestly recommend if you play Dallas House happening. and you want to become a really good rusher, just go crazy. Who cares if you die a bunch of times in a row? Because it's gonna happen regardless. So this is a really good map to practice being very aggressive and. And yeah, so we're gonna push here. We're gonna check in front of us. No one's gonna pop up, so we're gonna push left. We see a kill. Now we're gonna push check mid. We got a kill. We got him. Now we see on the radar they're in their spawn. So we're gonna peek here, peek our right as well. Got a gunfight here. We missed. Our shots were not that good. 
We're gonna toss a nade. Now, he killed my teammate in this room. I'm thinking he's gonna run towards the bomb. He does. We catch him lacking right over here. And uh, we, we 3 0, and we're close to the juggernaut. Now, getting a juggernaut on this map is a real big hassle because of how small it is. I mean, by the time it, the juggernaut even comes down, they're already there to kill you. <laughs> they're, they're on your ass. We're about 50 points off the jug. Or no, we're actually 225 points. So we're going to need a couple kills to get the jug. So we're going to do the same route, but this time we're going to push deeper into the respawn. Teammate brain just died there, so we know there's one more there. This is the guy that killed him, and we got him. There it is. And uh, give him a little good tries. Let him know that uh, it's okay. We're dominating their team. Das House is just crazy. You know what reminds me of Kill House? When, uh, when that map first dropped, it was just as hectic as this. But, yeah. So the rule on Das House Fair is enough. just to... Really, there is no rules. It's just don't die. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna save the Juggernaut. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna probably use it for the last round. A little bit of dramatic effect. We check mid, no one's there. We check right, someone's there. Oh, we okay, saw so another uh, person, so we're gonna check it again after the gas wears off. But no, they threw a nade at me. And then this guy killed me. See, that, there's just nothing you could do, man. You just have to always be moving. One thing I'd recommend is just keep your head on a swivel when you're on this map. Teammates might be able to clutch it up. Or oh, nice Bray Wolf got the kill with the Hummus Thunder pistol, the John Wick pistol. Now there's only one alive. And doesn't oh clean it God. up. My aim. We got one more, one more Shit. teammate alive. Now let's see what he does. Now this in this he's playing a little slow here. You could easily get clapped right now, but he got lucky. Saw him standing in there. Right? Or crouching, waiting for him. He was doing the same thing this guy was doing, but he just managed to pull it off. Now here comes the hard part. It's calling the juggernaut next round. And uh, we're gonna do that by just sitting in the spawn hoping nobody oh, comes okay. in. Shit's on us. So 5-0. Can we make it six? So let's find out. Now I'm gonna play this map a little bit differently. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna push up with my teammates and try to uh, assist them if I can. And then if we're still alive, I'll head back and I'll call the juggernaut. That way the timer is done. Uh, because on this map, eight seconds is crazy. We saw them all in their spawn. Teammates are dying. By now we can call the juggernaut. Now it's one v five. This is a very bad situation on a map like this. If this was a big map, I wouldn't really worry about it. But we're gonna we're gonna see them all hit us right now all at once we, we want to have that trigger discipline sometimes we gotta kill this guy he's in our way pop the jug home free baby now we don't lose look at that that trigger discipline if we were to shoot the first guy that that peaked that corner we would have been dead we would have been dead instantly ggs 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 Y'all let me pull that off was crazy. They let me pull that off. That was insane. I mean, that that right there, you, you could put some music behind it, put some black borders, and that's a movie right over there. But Das House, it's very hard to... to. It's one of those maps where there isn't, like, a way to play. There isn't, there isn't, like, a... There's no just one way. It's just keep your head on a swivel. There's no, like, super detailed routes you could take and stuff like that. It's just don't die. Just run and don't die.